right then we are back uh, once again in Unreal. We are going to learn how to do double slidey doors. Uh, like I said in the last video, if you watched it on the single slidey door, uh, it's not much different to the double rotation doors, only that you're using this location rather than the rotation. But anyway, let's get into it. Here we go. All right then, in Unreal, we're going to right click down here. We're going to select blueprint class and hit actor and we're going to call this one pp underscore double door sliding or whatever you want to call it open that up and we're going to oh, let's open up the wrong screen let's put it over here let's look at that one open close that right double door slidey let's do the boring bit there's a, a put in the, the meshes right door ah we got two of them now and then door L and I've left that parent did just drag that up if it's parent did there we are so they're in line and then box trigger and I'm gonna put an arrow because I love them I want that parented up there uh, the triggers also parented I'm murder for doing this right okay so that, um, ooh, right, door L, let's enter, um, door, SM door, door R, same again, door, SM door, that's my chair squeaking by the way, um, the trigger, I'm just gonna get to the right size, ish, I'll do, let's plonk it up like that a bit as well. Right, that'll do. And then, right, we got door L needs to be moved over there. Door R needs to be rotated on the Z, 180. And then moved, moved. Oh man, that didn't work, what happened? 180, and then moved over there. So they meet in the middle. Yep, that's right. All right then, so position your doors so the handles are both in the middle. And now you can follow along with me with the variables. These can be deleted later. You can just use a paper and pen if you like, but I like to do it this way. So I'm going to call this door L uh, open. Door L open. I'm going to change that to a vector. And then door R open. It's locations really, but uh, like I said, we can delete these later, it doesn't matter. So door L open, that's the door L. Now we ideally need to put door L close as well because we did move this door 90 degrees or 90 more units. Let me just compile so we can get these uh, values up here. If you can't get these values up click compile and it'll pop up so door l closed is 90 on the y and and when it's open which will be around there it's going to be 170 on the y so door r Door L open and then 70 on the Y. Door R. Ah, oh, this is zero these. Zero that. Right. Minus 90. So I really should do another one here just to make a note for myself. Door R ah, close. These you'll see why these come in handy in a sec if you haven't watched my previous videos. Compile again and then we want to put that in there because that's the closed position and then the open position which will be uh, around there there's a 175 I'll actually put it as 170 because that's what we use there so we'll do an exact mirror so oh door are open 175 I'll just change that to 170 minus 170 so that's plus 170 that's minus 170 so let's just put these back in this in the middle in their closed position 
which is wrong that's 90 that's position that's closed and that one minus 90 yep they are the closed positions so anyway hope that wasn't too complicated <laughs> The way I did it but anyway like I said you can just make a note if you've got a pen and paper you can write them down you don't got to make those things we can delete them later but they do come in handy so in the event graph we're going to select the trigger we're going to go down and begin overlap select it again and overlap out of the trigger we're going to get a timeline we're going to call it open doors we do both of them in the one timeline we're going to put that into the reverse straight away and then oh sorry and then in the timeline by double clicking it you're gonna you're gonna change this to two 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 seconds we about right vector we're gonna close call this one doel sorry if, if i'm going to be fast i click the v button right there and then name it doel we start with doel we're only changing the y so we're going to lock off the other two right click add key to y Start at that zero time, and then what's this? Do L. We're gonna look at Do L, and up here it tells us now. Oh, that's open. We're gonna start with closed. It is 90, so we can just copy and paste that in there. This is why I like to use the variables because you can just copy and paste, and you can also, you know, while you're in the timeline, you can click on it and access the info on the right there. So that's that one. We're gonna right click again, add key to Y, and this time we're going two. And then door L open is 170. So we're going to copy and paste that in there. Great. Now we're going to click the V again. And this one we're going to call door R. And in there, again, we're only using the Y. So we can lock those two. Add a key to Y. Door R closed is minus 90. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Minus 90. So in there, we're going to put zero and then paste in minus 90. Right click again, add key to Y. My voice is going, excuse me. Put a two in the time for that one. And door R open is minus 170. Happy days. So that is good. All good to go. Back to the event graph. Pull out from the update. And we're going to say set relative location and we want door um door l door doesn't matter really door let's do door l because door l is up the top here if it was door i I'd, I'd do that one first but door l click that one raise that up plug the yellow into the yellow select this box copy paste and you can drag that into there drag the right uh, the yellow into the yellow and we want door what is this door R? Let's grab door R up here because we need to reference to it. Plug that into there. So we've got the door L up there and we've got the door R here. And that is it. Look how simple that is. And if you hit play, we ain't got it in the scene yet. Surprise, surprise. I always forget that. Let's pull it in. And whoops. All right, that'll do. Just press play. Walk up to it. And that happens that happens why is that happening well because we've obviously messed these uh, thingies up door l open this will open a timeline again zero oh what is that now that should be what's that door l door l closed that should be 90. i don't know how i managed to do that so that's 90 and then this one down here this is wrong as well look at that what's going on door r closed is negative 90. plug that in compile and save and now we walk up to it and they open in a nice orderly manner and they close also you can adjust the speed you can adjust the amount that they open and close you know, the, you know, but if you do at this point adjust anything, don't forget you need to, um, you know, obviously figure out what the numbers are, what you want to adjust to, and make sure you go into your timeline and adjust these values here. So if you if you wanted to open 180 instead of 170, you just adjust it up there, and the same uh, for the other door, you adjust it in there. And if you want to adjust the time that it takes, you need to adjust it up here. 
So if we wanted it to go in 1.5 seconds, we need to then adjust the second pins. Instead of two, we're gonna put 1.5, and the same up in this one, 1.5. I can barely see my keyboard now because the sun is gone down. So let's compile and save that, and it should open a little quicker. Yeah, that's better. And it closed a little quick too. So great stuff, that is it. That's how simple this stuff is. So yeah, that is it. Not much there. And you've got a door that works, or a double door that works even. And like I said, you can delete all of these now if you wanted to. You can't multi-select them, but you can delete them now. They were only there for a reference, but I prefer just to keep them there anyway. And that's it. So see you in another video sometime from me for now ciao blau ta ta see you again bye bye take care keep creative whatever what else